Once upon a time, there was a young girl called Rapunzel, who had really, really long hair. She had been kidnapped by a wicked witch, who kept her in a room at the top of a very tall tower. The tower had no staircase and no front door. The wicked witch used Rapunzel's hair as a rope to climb up and down the tower. When she needed to climb up, she cried, "Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your golden hair!" The hair fell down, and the witch climbed up. Ouch! Poor Rapunzel never went out at all. She was sad, lonely. And very hairy. Having so much hair was hard work. Rapunzel was always tripping over her hair. It was such an effort to wash and brush that after a while, she just didn't bother. She sat by the window, daydreaming about being rescued by a handsome prince. Her hair. Got dirtier and dirtier. One day, a handsome prince called Boris heard Rapunzel singing. He followed the sound to the tower. He tried to climb the tower, but it was too smooth, and he couldn't get a grip. Then he heard the wicked witch coming, and hid behind a bush. She called out, "Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your golden hair." The hair came down, and the witch climbed up. Ouch! Boris waited for the witch to climb back down. Then, when he was sure she was gone, he sneaked up to the tower, and in his best wicked witch voice, cried. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your golden hair. The hair came down, but it was filthy. Yuck! He cried. I'm not climbing up that. He stomped off in a huff. A few days later, another prince came along. Albert had heard about the girl in the tower. With a lovely voice and the disgusting hair, so he came to rescue her. With gloves on, he called out, "Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your golden hair!" The hair came down, and he started climbing up. But halfway up the tower. His head started to itch. He had caught head lice from Rapunzel's hair. He let go of her hair to scratch his head, and fell back down with a thump. He gave up, and left. Rapunzel's hair got so grubby and grim that even the witch couldn't stand it any more. Screeched the witch, and a boat be coming back. She climbed down Rapunzel's hair for the last time. It was so greasy that she lost her grip and slipped to the bottom of the tower with a splat. Soon another prince came along. His name was Alistair, and he had a ladder. He called out, "Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your golden hair!" The hair came down, and Alistair gasped in horror. "Oh my goodness!" he cried. "Your hair needs rescuing more than you do. When did you last use shampoo?" He fetched. A hose pipe, head lice lotion, shampoo, conditioner, 
and a selection of brushes and combs. Alistair set to work. It took all day, but by the time Alistair had finished, Rapunzel's hair was clean, shiny, golden and beautiful. Then the prince helped Rapunzel climb out of the tower. Oh, thank you, my handsome prince, sighed Rapunzel. You have saved me and my hair. I suppose you want to marry me now. Uh, no thanks, said the prince. But would you like a haircut? Rapunzel had her hair cut short. It looked terrific and was so much easier to wash. In fact, she kept it so clean and healthy that the prince gave her a job in his hair salon. Prince Alistair used Rapunzel's leftover hair to make wigs and moustaches for all the bold people of the kingdom, who all lived happily and hairily ever after. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, wash your hair. This is a story about hair hygiene. Thank you for listening.